Hello, it's Helen Godden here and welcome to December 2 of our Christmas Countdown Quilt Along for 2021. And as you can see, this year we're working on the partridge in a pear tree. Now, if you're not sure what's going on here, this is December 2nd. So if you go back to December 1st on my YouTube channel of Helen Godden Quilts, there's a video there explaining to you how to obtain this pattern for free from my website and then how to trace it and sandwich it in preparation for our quilt along. So every day from December 2 through to December 24, right up to Christmas Eve, I'm going to be giving you one more segment of this design to quilt. If you miss a day, that's okay. You'll be able to catch up and complete your piece in time for Christmas. Now, as you can see, I've used my Curran d'Ache Neo Color Aquarelles to color this. You certainly do not have to do that. I just wanted to make it a bit more colorful for all of us. If you really like this design, I've also created the other 11 days of Christmas to go with my partridge. We've got Lords a Leaping. We've got milkmaids milking, there's turtle doves and French hens, there's everything. So have a look on my website. So when you grab this pattern for free, you might just decide to purchase the other 11 days to complete a whole 12 days of Christmas design. But for this month, we are just going to be working on the partridge in the pear tree. So tune in every day here on Helen Godden Quilts on my YouTube channel and why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss another segment in this project together. I'm really glad you're here joining us. This is actually our fifth quilt along together so let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is to actually do the ditch stitching in all our sharpie black outlines. We're working with black thread and in that way the black sinks into the black and it's very forgiving. It also helps define the whole piece and means that we can take out all these safety pins knowing that the piece is ditched and stable and then we can start playing into the different areas with our different free motion quilting styles. So I'm going to get on with my ditch stitching going around every black sharpie line with my black thread and then we'll be ready to start today's segment right through to the 24th. So I'm going to be working on my Handy Quilter Capri and you can stitch along with me. As you can see, it doesn't matter if you end up going over a line twice because it's still just black on black. You really can't see that you've gone over it twice and it just enables you to travel to the next area so that we can continue this ditch stitching fairly efficiently and quickly. And now with all our preparation done, all our ditch stitching and outlining, we're ready to actually start on our first leaf. So we're looking at this leaf just below the partridge's tail and we're going to start with a classic leaf design. And I'm going to find a centre line down the middle of that leaf with a slight curve, not just a straight line, a slight curve. Then coming back along that centre line, I'm going to curve in bunches of three lines, but keeping that curve to imply that the leaf is rounded rather than flat.
And there you have it, a very traditional leaf for our first one. That's it for today. I will see you all tomorrow for December 3rd. Bye-bye. <laughs>